Hi, my air dragons. How are you today? Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Okay. First of all, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it, but not just that. When we do readings, um, that energy really does get pulled in. Also, it sort of just shows me a little bit of love. Lastly, when I'm starting to do the bonuses, which I am, um, if I haven't started already, I look at views and likes. And based off of those numbers, um, or who I, who gets done first for the bonus reading. So, uh, some months I may not be able to make it through all of them. I try, but life happens. So anyways, that's how you can ensure that, um, you get your bonus reading. Okay, guys. So here's your full moon reading, May the 11th, 2021. I was dealing, I was shuffling. Now this is a new moon reading. So this is crazy that all of this came out. So I got four full moon cards that flew out. This is crazy. Okay. So I don't know if this has to do, but I was just like, this is just too ironic to ignore. So I got Aries, Cancer, Leo, and Capricorn. So maybe you're dealing with any of those energies. Okay. Now, because none of these are air signs, which is like, completely mind-boggling. So maybe you have these heavily in your chart, but let's go on. A fiery climax approaches. A personal issue reaches resolution. Don't let pride get in your way. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is like a story right here. We haven't even gotten into the cards yet. I'm going to start pulling cards for you guys for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Hopefully three each. Gemini first. And this is just like, seriously, I think you guys can see easily. One, two, three, four, four full moon cards. So what this tells me is it could be the timing because this super moon that's coming up in May, I think it's the 26th. It's the biggest super moon, but it's also um, an eclipse. It's a lunar eclipse. And it's one of the, uh, I think it's the first eclipse since 2019. So it's sort of a big deal. I think, I believe it's also the largest super moon that's happening. So, um, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> Libra. Libras are just jumping out. That one too. Okay. And Aquarius. So, there's something big that's going on for you guys, um, for my air signs. I believe you've all been getting, um, and I'm sure this will all mean individual things for you. That's sort of the reason why we do this is trying to be as vague, but as specific as possible. So, because with general readings, you can't really get into specific. Sometimes it's like, no, somebody's going to watch this and they need to know this right um so and then sometimes you can sort of pick little parts okay let's get into it because if this goes long if i get cut off there will be a part two and it will continue there okay just so you know sometimes depending on the energy and the cards i can be <laughs> i can be long-winded so let's get at it okay so we have the five of wands the queen of swords in reverse and then the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, with the Five of Wands, there's been uh, definitely um, some sort of conflict and uh, rivalry going on. Because um, let me move to your Ten. Um, you've had to put in a lot of hard work. You've had a lot of heaviness. Um, but you know what I see this as? So when you get to the 10, it's the end of the cycle. But if you look, so when you have the 10 of wands in the upright, right? Um, when you reverse the 10 of wands, there we go. See how they're no longer on his back, right? They're sort of falling off of his back. This is how I see it is. It's not like I see them falling away from you. So slowly everything is being handled. Uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Let me just pull a card to see what this energy is. Um, oh, 
Okay, so it's the feeling of, and this, so this is you, um, you've been overly em emotional, um, which makes sense, and it could be that you've been overthinking the situation too much and that you need to let it go. You need to release it. Because then if we take the Eight of Swords literally, um, it's, uh, it's about needing change, right? You need to move away from this Queen of Swords energy. You need to, like everything says, away, away, away. So um, what is it? Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. And a tough cycle, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Let's just see what other cards we get for Gemini. Can we move on? Okay, so now the Four of Cups was sideways. Um... So when it's sort of sideways, it's, I take it for, depending on what you do with this, means it could go either way. It could be that you're bored or you feel like you missed out on something, or you're meditative and you're working past it, okay? So I'm going to turn that up right, and let's take the positive spin on this and say, if you're meditative and you work past this, what's going to happen, right? So you have your nine of coins. You have your lovers in reverse. Gemini, this could be you. It could be that you're gaining a new perspective. I don't really get the sense that it is lovers, but it could be that you're seeing a misalignment. So through your nine of cups energy, um, you're seeing how, um, how messed up the situation was. And it could be with a perceived lover. But as you get your wishes granted, right? If you meditate, your wishes are going to be granted. And um, I get a feeling like you're going to sense, you're going to sort of, the lover's card is Gemini. And this is a reading for Gemini. So unless you're dealing with a Gemini. But Gemini's, because they're known as the twins, right? It's almost like you're flipping your perspective on what it could be. I don't see this as negative. I don't get that feeling. Okay, guys? So, um, flip your, your Four of Cups upright. Okay? Go into a meditative state. Don't get bored. Okay? Try to work through it. Do what you can. Um, I don't get very much of a fiery climax unless this is your fiery climax is just moving on. Because with this, right, personal issue reaches resolution. So you're going to resolve it, and it's, you're going to be ending a tough cycle, okay? So let's move on with my uh, Libras. So with Libra, you have the Knight of Swords. You have your Palace of Wands in reverse. You have your Palace of Cups in reverse. But then you have the World card. So with the Knight of Swords um, in the upright, um... There's, there's some sort of communication coming in, um, and I get a feeling like it's going to um, take, it, it might sort of stop you um, let me just give me one second. I really get the I, the feeling, again, that this isn't horrible, but I get this idea that this is stopping you from doing something emotionally that is not to your benefit. So I get the feeling like normally you would race through and you would go through and just push through and persevere and do something. I really get the feeling like this, whatever this is coming in, right, um, that it's going to be... And I don't see it as turning your worlds upside down. I see this as um, stopping you. And yeah, don't let your pride get in the way, okay? So I actually feel like it's going to pull you into balance. Or maybe you've been feeling unbalanced. Because look, you have the world, right? So you're completing something. And I get the feeling that by you not being so fiery and action-y, right? And by not being so... Um, emotional, right? It's it's what you've been dwelling on, but it's actually going to move you into where you need to be. Okay? Um, I, 
get the feeling like you're going to fight this. So, clarify the palette. Huh, I didn't even get it out. So you have the Empress that came out. So, yeah, sewing new seeds, Page of Swords in reverse. Um, so, ah, okay, I got it. So you've been having somebody in your life that's just been talking and not taking any action and you're turning this around and you're starting to sow seeds towards um, a, a new beginning, towards abundance. And this goes hand in hand with the world. So yeah, this page in the reverse, because you have two swords here, right? So there's somebody that's going to be coming in, but it's like you've caught on to them and they cause this to go upside down and you're like, no, we're not going to do this anymore. So this is where the fire comes in. This is where all of this feeds in, right? A personal issue reaches resolution, right? You're just going to be saying, no, so I feel like these all belong here and these belong here. So don't get let pride get in your way. That's a big one. I don't know why I'm really getting this feeling for you. Um, you can't let your pride really get in the way. you got to release the ego. Um, and it's the tough of an end cycle of... Uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches that's the world and this is you embracing whether you're male or female this empress so um energy um which is also libra by the way um and the world is also an earth sign so yeah you're just focusing on your abundance you're sort of just like it's almost like this is it it's like somebody comes in and you're like no you know what i've seen this before you need to i'm done i'm done with you okay that's really what i get out of this Okay, guys, so new moon, new beginning to the full moon, okay? So, okay, um, my Aquarians, ready? So we have the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, but then the Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow, so emotional, so emotional. So, um, you, you're like emotionally balanced. But why are we going backwards? Because um, your seven is on the upright and then your eight is in the reverse. Um, you have a dream, but you're feeling like because it isn't going fast enough, like you're ready to turn your back to it. Okay. Um, clarify this King of Cups, please. Is that meant to be there? Okay. Yeah. So it's somebody coming in, and again, it's coins. So offering sort of stability. Could be a Libra. There's a Libra sign here. Um, could also be a Taurus. Um, yeah. So, that's so funny. So you have your Six of Cups in the upright, but then your Four of Cups is in the reverse. Or it, pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Sorry, guys. Um... Somebody that's been working with you. This might not apply for all of you. It, I get the feeling like this is the same person, but they're being two-faced. And it's like in one moment they're handing you something, and then the next moment they're pulling away. They're handing you something, they're pulling away. Um, and they've come to you as though they are the king of cups. Um... And it's led you to believe in this dream, but you're like, it's, it's really toying with you. Um, it's really toying with you. Can we leave this energy aside and can we pull more cards? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. They, yeah, here, you've then, like, you're sort of like, just like, feeling, um, Oh my gosh, you're just feeling um, disheartened. Just like, yeah, your tree of life. It's caused you to sort of just stop. But you have something coming up. That's what I'm trying to get more cards for you on, guys. Is like, this is, this is your overall energy. Um, I get a very heavy energy. Okay, Knight of Wands. I get a very heavy energy until the Knight of Wands came out. Like, all those are there. Um, it's 
so funny because now they're like, okay, there we go. Okay, good. So I don't know if you guys can still see all of these. There we go. So when I've asked to move ahead, we have the six of wands. So you have victory. Okay. And it's, it's this fiery energy, tons of fire here. Okay. So this is going to run into the next one because this is taking so long. So in the next video, there is going to be 